hello there another video for the day uh, this is a 2008 2009 Acura TSX and um, got an engine light this is not engine just light but it's a blinking light so let me plug it in to see what kind of code it have see that <clears throat> engines are blinking right now so let me do a code reading to see what kind of code you have. Idle is very rough. So when you have an idle rough or engine blinking like this, please don't drive. Your car asking for you. I'm dying right now. So you can slowly drive to auto shop or tow to auto shop near you to fix it. Okay. It's one code which is a cylinder number one misfire okay so could be something wrong with the uh, cylinder number one So for the uh, TSX, firing order is number one from this cylinder here. So for a misfire, I'm going to do a check the spot plug to see how the spot plug look like first. And then I would do a uh, initial coil swap. So I'm going to do cylinder number one and number two. So I'm going to swap the two, uh, but I've checked the spot plug first. Okay, we'll take the ignition coil out and down. So I'm gonna take the spot plug out, check the spot plug. Here's a, some tip for people that, who are looking for buying a car. Um, Sometimes when you buy a used car and you have looking to buying something cheap, right? Okay, spot plug looks decent but you can't tell by just looking at okay and you want to buy a used car and the person telling you okay my car just misfire it's an easy fix you know probably just spot plug or ignition coil and replacement then you saw the the uh the uh misfire to be honest to you misfire is not an easy fix okay it's not sometimes when the seller is saying that to you I will say red flag okay or warning right there do not even go there go buy in that car if really something that easy fix how come he doesn't fix it okay that is telling you that it's not easy fix okay don't just say that oh I don't have time to fix in that car yeah you don't have time to fix in that car how do how do you have time to go looking for another car you know so when people tell you uh, easy fix don't even fall in that kind of uh, word that okay you will change sport players change initial coil and then you get a nice car to get running that can be a hundred dollar only work and you buy from use initial coil or you buy a aftermarket made in china use i mean initial coil for like 10 20 bucks and then you will get a decent car that is untrue when somebody saying that to you guarantee to you is more than a more than that initial coil or spot plug so i'm going to swap the two spot plug in running to see if that make any different it doesn't different then I will do the initial coil swap. Okay. So you don't buy car when people say easy fix. It never be easy fix. Okay. If an easy fix, they fix already. They want to make money selling a car. Besides losing a thousand dollar just for easy fix, there's no such thing. Okay. So don't fall into that kind of 
easy fix and you will fix it for cheap and turn around making money or or get a good car and easy fix no such thing when misfire coming up it can be weak cylinder it could be uh, bad engine already you know so don't even think about easy fix on those stuff okay 80% when I go looking for a car and have misfire and they say spot plug ignition coil only is engine replacement because on that time they already done all the work test compression test on that stuff when you go buy a car you don't do compression test right so you don't know but the guy that who sell to you they already did all the compression tests all that stuff and he know already but he doesn't tell you he just an easy fix for you so you can you can uh buy his junk car and then spend tons of money to fix it and you still don't get a car to drive okay trust me i'm not just born yesterday and fixed car yesterday i've been fixed car for a long time and i know enough that misfire is not easy to fix okay so just let you know something that very simple like this but when you don't know how to do you let somebody else do for you it's not cheap diagnosis is already over a hundred dollar and parts not even counted okay all right let me uh, start and run again to see what kind of misfire can come in i swapped the in spot plug already now after i swap the spot plug still saying cylinder number one so it's not mean cylinder number one is not solving the problem so i'm going to clear the code again we'll do the ignition coil swap to see that will switch if that switch that mean ignition coil is bad do number one and number two switch Okay, let's go start again. Engine light is, bl is blinking again. So let's do a reading to see what code you have. Okay, guarantee is ignition coil is bad. See now it's the 301 switch to a 302, so ignition coil is bad, okay? So that, that just replace the ignition coil and you will solve the problem because you when you swap the initial coil and the coil is jumping that means the coil is bad okay all right so you can buy use a new initial coil from anywhere that is working for this car and replace it and should be working so let me go find one to see if that works i'm not sure how much the dealer costs but this making by tech so tech is out there aftermarket brand name too so this is and i know that the the tech is carried by autozone and this brand is from autozone as well and uh, they didn't have no text on it so i'm not sure what brand to make on it if you want the part number is this right here okay c1626 ignition coil for this uh so let me put this in and go fire it up to see the the uh, coil work. If this works, then that means solve the problem. I know for sure it's the ignition coil because when I swap the uh, uh, ignition coil, the, the coil is jumping. Okay, so that's a bad ignition coil. Okay, solve the problem. The engine is steady it's no more right vibrated there's no more engine light so everything's work good 
Okay, so problem is solved. And if you ever have any problem like this, misfire, so you don't have to buy expensive machine, two, three thousand dollars to do a diagnosis for a misfire. Misfire can very easy just swapping the spark plug, swapping the ignition coil, swapping the injector. If after you do all that and still doesn't changing, then that means final light to your cylinder. Mostly lightly will be cylinder. Okay, so next time if you have any problem like this, you know how to diagnose to your problem. Okay, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye bye now.